Hello Lang family, Jim here, of course Connor here. Wanted to take a couple of minutes and give you a video demonstration of the things that uh, we have done with your dogs, things that you need to do going forward. I'm also going to provide you a manual or a guide for you to review as well. And of course you know I'm always here and Rachel's always here for follow-up. The very first thing we talk about is walking on a leash. I know walking on a leash is very important with you. Well, we need to learn how to walk each one individually on a leash before we get into situations that we might not be able to control with both of them together. I know each uh, one of you have had certain issues, especially with Banafi, on walking on a leash when other dogs are present. Well, what we want to do when we walk on a leash is have our dog with us here or here. We don't want our dog in front of us. When our dog is out in front of us, he is leading, or she is leading, depending on which dog you have, is leading the pack, okay? And you're following. Also, when he is in front of us and we're behind, he doesn't see us. We're not serving as a checks and balance to him. He's seeing the world in his eyes and he's gonna to react to the stimuli that, that uh, comes forth. But when, when we're here walking, as was demonstrated earlier today, he sees us or she sees us, which Banafi did, we become a checks and balances and it curtails the aggressive manic behavior that can happen. So it's let's go. When she's walking or he's walking in this case, like we want, we make sure that we praise, okay? Let's go. And we're always up to the, come on Connor buddy, let's go. So we walk, he's with us by our side, and only if he got in front of us would we tap the leash. When we tap the leash on a walking command, let's go or heal, it's always in the direction that uh, we want him to respond to. So if he's walking in front, we're going to tap behind. Let's go. Good boy. Right, a boy. <coughs> sit. Hand signal for sit. Sit means sit. He has to hold that sit, good boy, until I release him, okay? It's important that we vary the time that our dogs stay in each command. But sit is sit. Here's the hand signal. Pray. Hear the release? Sit. Good boy. Now the down signal from in front. Let me back up just a second. On the sit command, if he did not sit or if he jumped up by the sit, it would be no. Sit. No. Sit. Good boy. Sorry about that. Let's go. Sit. Good. Now the down command. If we've got the let's go or our movement commands, we tap in the direction that we want them to go. If we do the sit that we tap up, the down is naturally towards the ground. Down. Hand signal from in front is just like that. Down. Good boy. As soon as he downs, we praise him. We let him know he's done what we want. Again, that down is a holding command. He has to hold that down until we release him. Right. Let's go. So we're walking again. We did the down from in front. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Now from the side. Down. Good. Hand signal from the side. And again, he has to hold it. Notice I didn't say stay. There is a stay command. Stay. Open palm. Now, when I just tell him down normally, he has to hold the down and wait for my next command. When I tell him to stay, he can be a lot more relaxed. He doesn't have to pay attention. He can roll over. He can smell the ground. Uh, he can even go to sleep or chew a bone because he's in a stay position. He packed his bags. He's going to be there for a while. So when you say stay, especially when you incorporate it with the down, he needs to be there for a couple of minutes. We can also, and we'll talk about this, we're going to use the stay command at the front door so that they don't bolt out the front door. In that case, it doesn't have to be a sit or a down, it just means stay. It's the extension of what we've done here. Break. The release is just like that. Let's go, buddy. Sit. Good boy. Next thing we're going to do is the calm command. The calm command on leash is a little more structured than off leash, okay? We're going to talk about off leash and I'm going to go into a little more detail 
with bacon and whatnot in the booklet. But we've got him in a command. Come. Hand signal. He comes up. He sits. Good boy. We praise him when he sits. Again, now he's in the sit command again at the end of the come. Come. a boy. We don't praise till he finishes the command. Break. If I was to praise him as he was coming in the structured on leash come command, he thinks that's all he has to do. In essence, on the come, we want him to come all the way up and sit. Once he sits, the come command is finished. That's when we praise. If he came and stood, we would tap up the leash and tell him no sit. If he started off that way, we would tap the leash towards us, <laughs> good boy, and, and direct him. And you notice I praise. Remember, break. When we give, a, first of all, we praise him as much as we can. Remember, we praise 20 times more than we consequence. We always try to praise verbally and with touch when we can. That's the biggest goal. Remember, we talked about treats too. If we're learning a new command, we can tease and lure with treats. If we're not learning a new command, then what we do is, let's go, buddy. Sit. He did it. He didn't know he was working for a treat. And a boy. I gave him a treat. Pet, love, touch. Break. Let's go. Good boy. Let's move on and we'll come back. Next thing is the PLACE command. The PLACE command is a command where uh, Connor, in this case, can get on his bed, lay down, sit down, stand up, read a book. I don't care what he does as long as he stays on the bed. It's a very relaxed command, but it's also a command that you can assert to your dogs and teach them that uh, they have to hold it, but it's not one of those things you've got to watch him or her as you've proven what they're going to do. They've each one have done a place command for over two hours with us while we're watching television, reading, answering the door, what have you. All right, let's go. And we point for the place command. Come on, buddy. Come on. Place. I point. As soon as he gets on the bed, good boy. And a boy. I could even, if I wanted to, give a little treat. If I can get it out. That's a good boy. When I give the treat, I touch and still give good words, and now he's there. If he stood up, that was okay. All right, if he sat, that's okay. His job on the place command is to stay on that bed until we release him, okay? And he can do it. Break, let's go, come. Good boy, break. So the, we've worked on a number of commands, but we still have the heel command. The heel command typically is where we have him by our side and we tell him to heel, hand signals like this, and our job is to keep him in an imaginary box beside us. And, and he stays in that box, which I'm going to demonstrate in just a second. If he doesn't stay in the box, we're either going to motivate him with our voice or tap with the leash to get him there, okay? And then when we stop, he sits automatically. Remember what we are talking about, and we'll, we'll go back to motivation and consequence in just a second but we're trying to motivate with our voice. The only real strong uh, voice inflection we use when we're establishing our authority is the no or the down command. All right, so here we go. We got him in our box, all right? I'm gonna go heel. Good boy, he's right in our box, come on. Now heel. We stop, he sits. Heel, good boy. Let's go. I turn off, he follows. Let's go, come on, you can do it. Stop. No. Sit. We're going to do it again. Heel. Good. Heel. No. We're going to do it again. Heel. Good boy. Now. Notice he did it wrong a couple of times right there, and that's good. This is a one-shot video, so if something happens, we need to see it. I think it's important for you to see how we work through something. So here we are. We've done heel twice. He actually did decent, but he didn't do what I expected of him. If it's what you expect, that's okay, but he sort of stopped behind me and didn't quite sit automatically. 
he's supposed to sit automatically. He did that time, I'm going to make him do it again. Anytime he does something wrong or doesn't do something the way we want, we continue to do it till we get two successful times in a row and then we pray. Heal. It's just real short terms. Good boy. That's a good boy because of the scope of our video. Well, I'm going to do it again. I'm a glutton for punishment. Heal. Good boy, come on. Good. Down. That's a good boy. So, hopefully that's something to learn from. Because something like this is going to happen at home. And when it does, you don't get frustrated. Right. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. But look at that as an opportunity that he's showing you or she's showing you something that needs to continue to be worked on, okay? When it happens, try to fix it. Try to get two repetitions of it done correctly. Then what I would do is if time is allowed for you, go 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour, come back and do it again and get at least two good repetitions in a row. We're teaching a couple of things. One, what we expect and, and how we expect it done. And the second thing is that what, we're the leader and what we say goes. That's so important. It's so important uh, teaching your dog that you are the leader in all circumstances. That's how when we go for a walk and we see another dog or do something like that, that we can address it. We've proven to them that what we say goes, okay? So that was real good. I didn't quite expect it, but it's happened. Uh, it's been a fun day. You just left a little while ago, but we decided we'd come on out here to get this video done so that uh, they can come home to you tomorrow, okay? That's it with Connor. I've done all the commands. I've given all the uh, hand signals. We're going to demonstrate it again with Banafi, and then we're going to bring both of them out here. Thank you very much. And just so you know, all you have to do is pick up the phone and call me. We're here forever. I don't care if it's six months, nine months, you need to work on something, you give us a call. As long as you come to us, there's never a charge. Uh, I'm gonna follow up with you now to make sure that uh, you can walk your neighborhood and Banafi knows how to be a proper girl and not growl and bark, and so that you can enjoy your walks as well. Again, all it is is a matter of leadership and, and teaching through uh, the old environments, the old learn ways to the way that we want, and our dogs have to understand that not only do we want it, we're going to demand it. Thanks again. Appreciate it. Right.